Hi guys, I'm Steph. Thank you so much for checking out my channel today. I am so excited to be bringing you, I guess, the second update of my lip challenge. And I want to thank everyone who commented on the first update, letting me know that they loved that video enough that they wanted to see weekly updates. That just made me so happy that people are liking the content I'm putting out and really like this challenge. So thank you for that. If you have no idea what lip challenge is, I'm going to leave the intro video down below just explaining what this challenge is all about and when I announced the challenge, I also did like a whole week dedicated to lips and lip products, so I'll link that playlist down below in case you just want to check it out, but it has a tag video, some collection videos, just like my favorite lip colors, that type of thing. So it was a pretty fun week to film, so if you love lip products, I suggest you check that out. But for now, I will just get into what I wore on my lips this week. Monday here was a holiday, so I went for a little bit of a less intense makeup look than I would normally do. Instead of like primer foundation, I just did a bit of spot concealing under the eyes, a little bit of areas where I've redness, blended it out like very light blush bronzer. And to top it off, I just wore a lip balm. Like I said, it was a holiday here, so I didn't want to go like too intense with makeup. I wasn't really doing anything special. It was just like a nice day off of school, except I mean I had a huge assignment to work on, so that's how I spent that time. But I wore the Born Lippy The Body Shop in Raspberry. It looks like this. And just to open it up for you so you guys can see it. But as you can see, this is the look I was wearing. And it's just like a really nice, comfortable lip balm. It has a bit of a tint to it. I'll try to swatch it for you. I really don't think there's going to be much of anything. It's right here. I like you, There's nothing. It's like the tiniest hint of pink but it just like it's a great balm it feels really nice on the lips it gives your lips that nice plump of hydration and I'm sure you guys if you don't know have heard a lot about this because it's my in my project 5 pan which I kind of ruined by showing it to you but if you're interested in that project 5 pan, I will link those videos down below but this is just a great lip balm to wear during the day on Tuesday, I wore ColourPop's Frickin' Frack, which is one of their ultra satin lips, and I paired that with the MUA Makeup Academy Anti-Bleed Lip Liner. I just wanted something to kind of go on the outside to line my lips with. This is a great lip liner because there's no pigment to it, so you can pretty much wear it with anything. That being said, I like the concept of it, but I don't really think it does that much to actually help line my lips. There was a pound, so like, not a big loss there. As for the lip color, as you can see the picture here, it actually comes out like a bit darker than I thought it was going to, but I really liked it. I'm kind of like, in my mind, this is more of a fall color, but it was like super rainy that day, so it was really nice to kind of like have those fall vibes. We weren't quite in spring summer mode, and I dressed like a little bit cozier, and fall's my favorite time of year, so if I can make it feel like fall, I am down for it. But this is actually like very comfortable on the lips. I did have to reapply a few times throughout the day after eating, but I didn't find that to be such a big issue. And it's not like it wore away so terribly that I was like, ah, I have to go apply. But it was definitely something I wanted to keep on me to reapply. And I hope I get more aware of this. This kind of reminds me like I really like this shade and this wasn't really something I was gravitating to before this challenge. Wednesday, I went for more of a softer look, as you can see. And I was wearing the Joe Fresh Lip Gloss in Nude. Looks like this. And this is just like a really nice gloss. It's not super pigmented. Hopefully you can see it right there. It's very glossy but not super pigmented. I really liked how, I like the idea of the gloss that it's not super pigmented. You don't have to worry about how it wears. And it was just such a busy day. I didn't even have a chance to really reapply it. But that didn't matter. But... I wasn't like super drawn to to it where I didn't even think to reapply it. I didn't love it that much. So I don't know. I just think maybe lip gloss isn't for me or at least not this lip gloss. I do think I tend to like something with a bit more pigment because if it's too unpigmented, yes, it's beautiful for those like natural days, but it just isn't something I think about reapplying. I think it would be really hard for me to actually use up lip glosses that aren't super pigmented. Thursday, I wore the NYX Lip Lingerie in Bedtime Flirt. I love it. 
Um, this is my first time wearing it, but I really, really enjoyed it. I would say for the NYX lip lingeries, you want to put a lip balm on first, give it a little bit of time to sink in, and then go in with the color because if you don't, it is just so drying. It goes on kind of lumpy and chalky, but if you put a balm on first and you put on like a thin layer, they can be so beautiful. This is it right here, and I just really loved it, how pink it was. I thought it was like such a beautiful nude. I really enjoyed it, but after I ate, I reapplied it, and I didn't have a lip balm on me, and it was like, I felt like I was wearing a different lip product. So if you have lip lingeries and you find them kind of uncomfortable, try putting on a lip balm and then a thin layer of the product, and if you're thinking about buying one, there's just something to keep in mind, but I do think like the color was beautiful and because I know how to work with the formula, I do really enjoy them, but for the longest time, before I kind of figured out the best way to make them work, I wasn't the biggest fan and didn't understand when people like really love them. I thought the colors were pretty interesting because even though it's a range of basically nudes, they do have like more purpley tone, more red tone ones, so you can find something that you really want, but without putting that lip balm on, I just feel like they're not that great of a formula on their own. So this next one is a Canadian brand. So Friday I wore Marcel's Paris Rose. It's one of their Rouge Expression ones. And it looks like this. I thought this was going to be like such a nice color for the summer, which it really is. It's like this beautiful pink. And I feel like it almost, it looks brighter in the swatch than it did on my lips. I kind of was hoping for something a little bit brighter. That being said, I don't love the formula of this. It's not like the worst formula I've ever tried, but it's not the best. It's from the Rouge Expression line, and I just don't see myself picking up another lipstick from them. Honestly, I picked this up because it was on sale. I didn't have anything from this brand, so I was like, oh, I really wanted to try it, and I'm glad I tried it to know, and I'm especially glad I picked it up on sale, but this was not something that I needed to add to my collection, and now that I'm familiar with the formula, I know it's not something I love. I just think there's better formulas out there. This is a drugstore brand, and just... There's other formulas that are better at the drugstore, especially the Revlons. Check out Revlon, so underrated. I just don't see myself purchasing anything else from this brand. But I did enjoy the color, and I would say the color is unique to my collection, so for that reason, I'm happy I do have it. So Saturday was really busy for me. It was an amazingly fun day, but I did not wear any makeup. So on to Sunday's lip, in case you're wondering what I'm wearing right now. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Moscow. And... From the packaging to my lip, I would say that this is a pretty reasonable representation of the color you're going to get. However, when you first put this on your lips, this is the color you get. It is like a very sheer wash of color, and I was so disappointed. I put this on my lips, and I was like, what? Because I was expecting this like beautiful dark blue, and even though this looks quite navy, I would say... It's almost like a very dark turquoise. Like, I feel like it has a greenish tint to it, which I'm not sure if you can tell, but I feel like that's what it looks like in person, but maybe I'm just crazy. I think it could also depend on, like, your undertone and the pigmentation of your lips, but when I first put this on, I was, like, so disappointed. I was like, what is this? I really wanted this color. So I put it on, and then I waited about five to seven minutes, let it dry down and then I went in with a second layer and I was really able to build up that pigmentation to what I wanted. So if you see this color and you're like that's not the color I want, it's an interesting color but wasn't the color you're looking for, wait a little bit and then apply a second layer. I do have another NYX soft matte lip cream and I didn't find that I had that issue with it so I'm just wondering if because it's a darker color and the pigmentation of it that's something you need to do so if you have this product or maybe another dark soft matte lip cream maybe you need to do a layer wait and then do a second layer but I was able to build it up I really do like the pigmentation of it I would say also don't like mm, like you know when you put on lipstick and you like rub your lips together kind of spread it don't do that with this because it'll ruin it especially if you go in with that second layer build it up to the pigmentation you want and then you rub your lips together, you will ruin it and it will go back to looking like this. So just let it dry on its own. Don't rub your lips together. And when it dries down, it is quite almost like powdery dry to the lips. And I haven't been wearing this very long, so I'm not sure if it's going to feel uncomfortable throughout the day. But I do have another 
soft matte lip cream and I don't find that tends to be the case with that one so I'm hoping this is the same way. I decided to wear this today because I don't have plans to go out and this is my first time wearing this color and I was a little bit intimidated and I thought this would be a good way to wear it, maybe get some feedback on what you guys think of it and just kind of get more comfortable wearing something like this. There are the lip products I wore this week. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe because every Sunday I will be coming out with my weekly update of what I wore. So hopefully you stay tuned and check those out in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye.